simple as that. Holy crap. Welcome to Rock Solid Rig. In this video, we are showing you the aftermath of our time on Bailey's boulders. So make sure you click that like, share, and subscribe button. And we're gonna get right into this video showing you exactly what happened and what we had to take apart. So looking straight down on this, kind of hard to see, but you can see that the front of the rotor here is definitely kicked out further than the rear. And then if you look at the pad back here on the rotor, you can see that it is definitely making contact with the outside. You can see a gap on the back there, but it is definitely catching. That's why we could hear the brakes squeal. It feels really light when I'm spinning it, so I think it's broken. Pretty close to the end here. As long as it's not like Michael's and broke off right at the line. That's why my e-brake doesn't work. I was hoping it was just going to pop out, but I guess... Oh, those are 18 also. Since it bent so bad, I was thinking it broke away from like all of this crap, but I guess it broke. Yeah. Try not to just record your crotch. <laughs> Gotta spread that blade wider. How to get the other end out? Like the race from your or the the bearing fell out, like fell into the tube or something. Something's in there. Oh yeah, you can see it. So it's not the seal, but you just pulled what out? It was the bearing retainer. It worked itself all the way down to the end of the shaft where it was broken off. And it fell off in the, the tube. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably from the dirt road. Okay. You can, like, start on these chunks and everything. And zoom out. <laughs> I don't know that we're going to be able to push it at all. Now it's stuck. Pull them uh, no, let me come do that. Okay. <laughs> that is nasty stuff, right? You want there. me to come and grab onto it with a magnet? It's coming out of the shaft. Uh, actual shaft. After I, I punch it out, then we can grab it. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. I'll put the magnet in there. At this point, Corey and Josh are trying to maneuver a piece of the axle shaft out of the carrier. Corey has a wire hanger that he is using to try to move it as much as he can. On the other end, Josh has a magnet, extendable magnet to be exact, and he's using this as much as he can to try to pull all of the pieces and the big piece that's still left in there out. You don't want to leave anything in. You run the risk of damaging a lot more components, especially your gears, if you just leave it all in there. So the best thing to do is try to flush it out as much as you possibly can. Well, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, that grabbed something. It's out. I'm not saying it's not. Hey, you know that's extendable. Like when you. I know. Okay. That's as extended as it gets. Let me move out of the way. No, no, no. You're fine. And this is how they work together. <laughs> that is what you call love. <laughs> that thing is the bomb, baby. What's that? This gun. Oh, yeah. That thing is super fancy. Yeah. <laughs> See, Corey was meant to be a gynecologist. Oh, the first purchase I made after that. Oh, was it? That's all the way out, man. That's what I was saying. I was like, I know it's extendable, but that's as far as it extends. So we got to keep telling them, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's all the way. Oh, baby, you that's all you're gonna get. <laughs> Keeps coming out a little dirty. <laughs> Grabbing it. Oh, shit, let's see this right here. You want that hanger? Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. That's Look at that. Right yep. Yep. All right. Did anybody get? Brake clean. Yes. Yes, we got brake clean. Good. We need. All right. So here are some of the pieces. This is the big piece that was in the carrier still, like that. It snapped off, just off the end. And then all these pieces are the tiny little pieces that broke. Some of them got some spines on them. Somewhere down there. But yeah, definitely. Here's another. Here's another piece over here. There's one. So now we're gonna. Drink a case of beer and get some super glue. We'll put gorilla this all, glue. yeah, gorilla glue. I'm sorry. We know it works. Yeah, we'll put this all back together, it's and then really and then like we'll yeah, and then we'll show the install putting it back after we get it all dried up. All right, so all the beer is gone, and the shaft has been glued back together. That Gorilla Glue, man, that stuff is holding strong. So Corey is slowly inserting the shaft. Gently. Caressing. Making sure not to screw up my axle seal as he has previously done. I would never. Whenever he put a shaft in my rear. A little too rough. A little, yeah, much, much too rough. Probably going to hear this and be like, you f can't use any of this audio. <laughs> This will be the blooper reel. The adult content warning. As you can see, we were able to put everything back together, and if it weren't for Corey, there's really no way we could be back out on the road. He took the time and effort on a hot July day in Hot Springs to help us fix this problem. And we want to make sure we also say thanks to AJ and Denise from YouTube channel A Long Long Way To Go. They went to town with some of their friends and got us all of the materials that we needed, and we definitely wouldn't be on the road without them as well. This is one of the reasons why we strive to make sure that we have our crew with us. Having a good crew on the trails makes a huge difference, but when a trail fix needs to be done, having that crew there for you as well is a huge, huge plus. 
Thank you for watching and if you'd like to find out how you can help us some more, make sure you check out the description down below. We have a link to our Patreon channel. Big shout out to our first Patreon. Thanks, Mom. Rachel, we really appreciate you. It's really helping us to be able to get this passion up and going. And of course, until next time, y'all just keep on jeeping.